How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here as I ask you to please rise for the singing of the Russian national anthem. Well, this is awkward. Oh, never mind about all that. Well, anyway, uh, what happened was Victor, the video game comrade, and I had a little collaboration a few months back. I was featured on his channel, he was featured on my channel. Had a great time, awesome, awesome channel. I uh, love hearing about what it's like to be a retro gamer in Russia and, uh, and you know the struggles that he had uh, there. I have Russian heritage in me. Uh, my mom's grandparents, let's see, mom's grandparents, that sounds about right, um, are from Russia and then you know immigrated here to the United States of America. So, and I'd love to get more in touch with my Russian roots, so to speak. I'm all about you know the Irish side and the Norwegian side, that's fine and everything, but I need to get more in touch with the Russian roots. So, uh, my buddy Victor sent over this huge box from Russia, uh, full of, there's, a, there's a, some extra surprises in here and um, as well as something that I know is in here, but he also loaded it up with all kinds of stuff. So I thought just for fun, would have a little unboxing video from Russia with love for my buddy, uh, Victor, the video game comrade. And make sure you check him out on YouTube as well. And this box really is packed all the way to the top here. Be interesting to see what's all in here. We have treats already, good Lord. All right, let's have a look. Here's a little sack full of, let's have a look, let's have a look. These are, oh, I love the design. Dude! Focus! There we go. Nicely done. Uh, I don't know what it says. Hmm. Oh, I forgot how to little, the little translate dealio, and it's not telling me one way or another. Oh, I'm going from Russian to... Yeah, no, that should be right. Russian to English, right? Let's see if it says anything on the back here. Chocolate glazed sweets. I'm cool with that. Filling between layers of Little Red Riding Hood waffles. Interesting. All right, Little Red Riding Hood, impress me. It's a little, little chocolate, little biscuit. Hmm. It's good. You know those like those sugar wafers? This kind of tastes like one of those, chocolate covered. It's a bitter chocolate. If this was in, if this was in the U.S., they may consider this dark chocolate. It's good. It's it's not the kind of chocolate. It's not like Hershey's chocolate though. Hmm. And then we have, oh, whoa, whoa, boy, dude, how cute are these? Come on now. Looks like me when I was a baby, maybe. <laughs> if I could only be so lucky. All right, same thing as before. Here we go. Um, candy. Red October something. Red, Red October candy. I have a feeling this one may be exactly the same. Sure looks like it. This one's chocolate. Not exactly the same. Hmm. It's good. I like this. How did he know I loved candy? I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a uh, like a, like a like a like a rice or a peanut. I, I guess we're gonna do a little translate once again here. Here we go. What do we got? What do you say? Anything? Anything? How about up here? Ruskit. It's a dessert. Okay. And, ooh, what the, all right, never mind. <laughs> hey, he sent me a Mega Drive. That's right, he, he, sent, me a, he sent me a Mega Drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, I, I, yeah, I know. I, you, it's the joke. Peanuts and soft caramel, peanuts and soft caramel and a milk chocolate glaze. It's probably gonna be like a, like a kit, like a Snickers kind of thing, I bet. All right, Mega Drive. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a Milky Way or a Snickers, well, well yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say I like Milky Way of peanuts because that's basically a Snickers. Mmm. This one's good. Okay, he sent over Russian breakfast cereal. Are you kidding? Oh my... Dude, they're little chocolate bears. Dude. Wow. Denny. All right, guess we can have a look while we're here since we're doing this. Healthy food every day. Okay, if you say so. Bear cub chocolate. I, I could have told you that. Man, I'm looking forward to trying that. Victor, my man, I'm telling you. This one too here. It's like, looks like a Crave. This Crave style cereal, very popular throughout all of the world. And, uh... Cushion. Surprise and surprise. Too many surprises. Come on. Oh, hey, it just changed to something. I thought I could read it. Interesting. Okay, well. That's the first. Oh, no, wait. We got one more layer here. Another another round of something. I like how it has that little, that's just beautiful. Gloriously beautiful right there, I love that. 
Oh man. This one's a little bit more smooth. Mmm. There's alcohol in this. Wait. Glazed candy combined with chocolate and body made of fondant and liquor. They put alcohol in their candy? I was like, you can't, I, I know, I know that burn. I recognize that burn, my friend. Thick glazed candy chocolate combined with fondant and liquor. Masses Capital. What? I mean, I'm not going to deny. I don't know. <laughs> he sent over a Russian magazine. This is a thick retro gaming. It has my has uh, he he did say that he was going to send over a letter that has that explains a little bit about everything that's going on as well. Um, and I will check this out later. But I am very interested in. Well, I mean, I'll read the I'll read the letter later. But let me at least pull out the magazine just for a second here, because dude, this is such a nice quality. I love this. It says, uh, "Is that retro?" Well, I guess we'll, hey, you know what? All right. Retro, no, come on. Game. Okay, the, the, the second word is game, apparently. But I've, I'm, I, the first part has to be retro. I'll just say down here. Oh, come on. The most difficult NES games. Mystery pirate cartridges. Oh, I love that. Love it already. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like, here's, dude. Nicely designed. Even talks, I mean, it's cool that they even talk about like pirate carts, apparently. Probably get in here. Oh yeah, we're like right, right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome, I love that. And I already see this next bit down here. This is the show Stoppa, it's the main event. Old school, in the box. I got a dendy. I got a dendy, this is the Russian NES. This is the Nintendo system that kids in Russia played. Featuring the <laughs> little guys down there too. Now it is, um, he tells you right there, it's, it is a PAL system. I might have to pick, take it through a, a converter or something like that. But this is a this is a hefty little box here. This is, I mean, it's, it's not heavy, heavy, but it has you got your power button, got your reset, and then push, which I'm sure will eject the cartridges. He did send over a few cartridges as well. Um, the controller ports on the side, and it does include a couple of controllers, interestingly shaped. Got the turbo buttons as well right on top, and it feels as you would think. I mean, it's almost like Master System loose on the D-pad there, but man, I'm looking forward to checking this out. I'm gonna have to play some here. He also did include um, Power Source. It is PAL Power Source, you can imagine. And if you're wondering on the back, RGB style, yeah, which is fine. I have, um, like I said, I, I have a retro tink that I can patch it through the retro tink to play um, on a monitor or something like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Games included for the Dindy. This is Super Game 2-in-1. This is The Lost World 2 as well as Mortal Kombat 30P. See that? Very cool. This is, oh, this is the staple. Batman and Flash. Gotta have Batman and Flash. Now this is Monsters in My Pocket, a graphic hack, but this is what they know there. This is it. You can see right there, it clears anything. Batman and Flash, you gotta check it out. <laughs> he, he, he found one, he sent it. Uh, here we go, Chippendale 3. Chippendale 3. That's what the cover art looks like. That's the box art. There's Chippendale 3. Um, it's heavy barrel, but instead of the main characters, they're uh, they're chipmunks. So Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 1 and 2, sure. And then Chippendale 3. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. We have Spider-Man, which is, of course, Spider-Man. We have um, Adventure Island 3 featuring Peach for some reason. What is that? Ninja Cat? Well, there's Ninja Cat, which is obviously uh, Fox McCloud there. And then what cracks me up the most, because I'm such a fan, the WWE game at the end is WWF Wrestling, right? Yep, WW, it says WWF Attitude. It's WWF Attitude. And of all wrestlers you could feature, Jerry Lynn is on the front, who has been in WWF. He was there. He was in ECW. I mean, he's a great wrestler. I love him. Uh, he's now like a head trainer or coach or something like that for AEW. When he was in the ring, not the most popular character in the world, but he just looks like a wrestler, I guess. So interesting they would include that. Victor, I can't thank you enough. I'm looking forward to checking out the Dindy. Original styrofoam packing, by the way, on the Dindy. Look at that. The bootleg games video I did features Victor, the Russian video game comrade, so make sure you check that out because he talks about not just Dindy, but also what it's like to play PlayStation 1 games in Russia. And then our collaboration video as well. Um, learn more about the Dindy by checking out his video. Um, he tells you all about it, and of course I show up there and have a great time too. And this is, this is awesome, this is fun, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very, very soon.